Antique mirrors have become a big thing in the antique mall. They're used for decorating or for grooming. This one is wood with raised wood carvings, gold gilded paint, and natural wood. It was a frame made into a mirror. Here's another vintage beveled mirror. It's made in metals and it's good for a dressing table or a dresser. Long ornate mirror. Gold leafed. This one I believe is made with plasters that have been applied to the corners and decorations. They're a bit more fragile. Lots of detail. Mirrors have been around for a long time. They started approximately 600 BC and the original mirror would have been just a pool of dark water in vessels and then it changed to polished stones. After that it would have been metals of brass, bronze, coppers until in 1835 it was invented by a chemist the silver leafing on the back of a... This is an antique ornate mirror. It has antique ornate gold mirror. It's actually gold leafing. It has raised designs that would be done in plasters. It's a lot more fragile a lot of time the pieces have come up and need to be worked on. This is a gold leaf mirror. It has raised plaster designs. It's pretty fragile. A lot of times the plaster designs have to be repaired. This is an old antique mirror. The hooks are used for the hats or mitts to hang in your hallway. Bubbled mirror. Quarter cut wood. Another different style of mirror. It appears to be earlier, but it still has the ornate corners, an odd shape. This mirror has made a comeback. I believe it to be off an old dresser. It's got beautiful beveled edges, solid oak, it's been totally restored. Mirrors have been around for a long time. The early mirrors, 6,000 before Christ, would have been pools of water in vessels, dark water so you could see your reflection. After that, it would have been polished stones going on to metals of copper, brass, bronze. Over the years, they started making mirror with mercury backing and the glass was blown glass, very primitive. About 1835, a chemist figured out how to silver the back of a mirror, and then we started manufacturing it, and it started getting to be a better price and easy to make. This here is a shabby chic. People like to take the mirrors and paint it white nowadays. This is a quarter cut oak round mirror with a carved duck, beveled, beautiful oak. This mirror has an ornate edge. It's been with us since we opened and you will see why as we do a close-up. I'm in the mirror and it's just totally distorted. This mirror, the whole thing is so distorted it's like a fun mirror. but it looks neat. The edges feel like a wood. They're very decorative. It's a decorative wood edge. It's just the funnest mirror. I 
can't believe somebody hasn't bought it just because of the distortion of it.